What's up everybody? Happy Sunday to you. Man, hopefully a lot of you are getting back from church or have already been back from church and enjoyed that awesome Sunday meal or that fellowship with everybody in your church. And, and if you're not in a church, oh, excuse my rooster, that's Sean Declare. <laughs> and if you're not in a church, I encourage every one of you to go out there and find yourself a good Bible teaching, truth telling church. And a lot of you might be thinking, and that might be coming flooding in, that uh, you don't need to be in a church. That in fact, that you can do your worship right at home. Well, you know what? You're right. You can. But Jesus says in Matthew 18, 20, he says, Where two or three are gathered in my name, so I will be there with them. Guys, this means that back in the Old Testament days and Jewish law, that there had to be at least ten men gathered together to make a synagogue right? It had to be 10 men together and they had to be all together and that was the only way they could pray. Well, Jesus is telling us that you don't have to be in that big of a group, but at least be with some people, like-minded Christian people, and get together and fellowship in Christ's name and he will be there with you. You know, it also says that in the book of Acts, Luke teaches us, hang on real quick, that Acts 2.42 tells us that all believers devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and fellowship and sharing of meals including the Lord's Supper and to prayer guys what he's really trying to tell us is fellowship is a partnership fellowship is to get together and it is our spiritual duty to stimulate to encourage other like-minded Christian people and that goes for guys and gals you know I encourage you, if you're not in a church to try to get into a church Get into a men's Bible study, a women's Bible study, youth, get into a youth group, children's church, things like that. You know, it just helps build the body of Christ. It helps build us. We can, we can study the Bible all day long by ourselves, but I tell you, you just get so much more when you spitball and you get, you bounce things from the Bible off of uh, other like-minded Christians. So guys, get out there, get into a church, get into a Christian group. Use the gift the Holy Spirit gives us of discernment, of course, when you get in there. And as always, if you're going to talk about it, be about it. Love you guys. Later.